Now, you've got to learn three recipes. You've got to learn how to make a minor bisquick and a diminished bisquick and an augmented bisquick. Oh, oh no. <coughs> Say, oh, yes. Oh, yeah. All right, here's the rule, and it's so easy. To make a major chord a minor chord, what do you do? Flat the third. Flat the third. All right, write C, E, G down four times. C major chord is C, E, G, right? C minor chord is C, E, G. C diminished chord is C, E, G. And C augmented chord is C, E, G. Now. Listen closely. This is where you can't take the, the ingredients out of a bisquick. The letter of the chord never changes. Never. You can have a C-sharp diminished ninth with a raised fifth, oh, and cool. it's still spelled C-E-G. Isn't that cool? Yes, it is. That's like the foundation. That's the bisquick. Then, all you can do is add to it. You can sharp them, flat them, or add notes to them. You cannot change the letters ever. Now, you already have another chord. Cool, huh? All right, so, to make a major chord a minor chord, the rule is add an A. No, flat the third. Which note is the third? The middle one. Which so, would be in the reposition anyway. In the reposition. That's why I want you to spell them that way. That way when you flip them over and turn them around, and I'll show you how to cheat in a minute to do that. All right? C, E, G, major. C, E flat, G, minor. Just one little note change. Okay? Happy chord. Sad chord. Okay? Diminish. If I diminish your income, what do I do? I work for the state of California. In case this goes up on the internet. The governor will love it. Yeah. All right. Diminish means to make it smaller. Anything they do to a chord ever, minor it, diminish, augment it, the root note doesn't get affected ever. Okay? Keep that in mind. The first will always stay the same. So these rules only apply to the middle note and the top note. Okay? So a diminished chord. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye. Wrong number. <laughs> <laughs> diminished chord. You flat the third and the fifth. All right? So you flat everything but the name of the chord. If you're playing the chord, just keep the root note the same, flat everything else. And there's diminish. That's the easiest chord of all to change. Augment. If I augment your income, what do I do? Add to it. Add to it. So I sharp the fifth. Now, you just got to know those three rules. That's easy. Look at me. How do you make a major chord a minor chord? Flat, Flat the, the third. third. How do you make a major chord a demented, I mean diminished chord? <laughs> Flat the third and the fifth. How do you make augmented? Sharp, Sharp the fifth. That's it. All right, now watch this. Here's what, this is where most people get all confused. Write down this chord on the board. We need this? Yes. 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 Okay. C, sharp, diminished. Oops. Um, e, I, okay. That's right. I was getting a little. No, that's right. C sharp diminished. How many words just came out of my mouth? Three. 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 Now I got bisquick and egg and milk. I have to do three. And C is here. I don't know how to get this. Yes, I do know how to get it across. Don't when you look at chords, don't look at them as one big scary chord. Look at them as bisquick and two little things you got to do to it. And then the chords aren't scary anymore. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I, it used to be I'd see C sharp diminish and go, <gasps> I don't know that chord. So you either skip it or you have to stop playing. Usually you skip it, right? Just keep going. 
and hope, and hope nobody notices that you didn't play that chord. All right, so let's figure out how to do that chord. You just think three things, and you can do it while you're playing. And the coolest thing is if you do it while you're playing, it usually sounds amazing. Even though you're struggling and you're trying to figure out where the stupid notes are, it sounds like a chord progression. Listen, here's C chord. All right, C sharp chord means I sharp all the notes, right? All right, then diminish means what? Flat the Leave the C sharp alone and flat the other two notes. There it is. C sharp, E, and G. Now watch how it sounds if I'm in the process. Now think of that in a song. You could do that in a song. Who cares? And, and especially if the chord change happens on a whole note when you got time, you know, and no one will, and everybody will go, wow, that was a cool chord progression. What did you do? That's why ear players go, I don't know what I did. They just hear it. <laughs> yeah, you, huh? <laughs> what is that you're playing? <laughs> well, the, the net effect of that is you just ended up sharp, sharpening the C. That's right. Correct. Anytime you have a sharp <coughs> diminished chord, just sharp the name of the chord. F sharp diminished is F sharp A C. And that's all you gotta do, and you're there. Alright. Alright. This let's... eliminates the chord books. Right. We won't need a chord book much longer. Alright, let's do this. Write down uh, go ahead and erase all that. Let me show you something that's kind of cool. Most songs you can play with just major and minor chords, can't you? Okay? All right. <coughs> so write down C, E, G. Let's spell the seven basic chords. C, C, E, G. F chord. F, A, C. G chord. G, E, D, D. Those chords are all white notes. Correct? Yes, they are. So you know, and those are the first three chords you ever learned. Anyway, so, all right. Now, over here, Greg, the three chords, A, D, and E, those are the chords that need aid or help, correct? So it's A, C sharp, E, the, the help is in the sharp in the middle, D, F sharp, A, and E, G sharp, B. All right. Now, those chords are every other note on the keyboard, right? And the middle note gets sharped if the chord is spelled like that in the root position. Okay. Now, to make that chord minor, to make these chords minor, and this is cheating, so don't take any notes, but watch this. This is cool. All three, C, F, and G, to make it a minor chord, you flat all the middle notes, correct? Right. So E flat, A flat, B flat. Now, my all white note chords now have a black note in the middle, don't they? Right. All right, now watch. A, D, and E, if they're major, they have a black note in the middle. If they're minor, they don't. They're all white notes. So they, they, they just flip the way they look, which I think is very interesting and very good to know. So an A minor chord, if it was a major, it would have a black note. If it's a minor, it doesn't. See, they just kind of reversed. All right, now watch this. If the chord is inverted, all right, we already saw that. Let's, have, let's play a game. Greg's gonna write a chord on the board and you're gonna use a process of elimination and tell me what it is. And it's not gonna be in the root position. Because if it was, the name of the chord would be right at the bottom, right? Right. All right, so write down B, e, D, D, and G. Now don't say a word. Shh. There's always somebody in class that's faster and spits it out. If you play that chord, B, D, G, no, don't play because then they'll use last week's rule and we, we can't do that yet. If, if you, someone says, what chord is that? There are two ways to recognize what it is.